everyone, let's take a look at number 10 on our multiple choice. Now, we have to find this difference quotient. And I just want to remind you, this will show up in calculus. This is a big deal. Well, let me write, will show up in calculus if you're taking the next course, all right? Because you're basically in a pre-calculus course right now. So this becomes a big deal in calculus. But at least in college algebra, it's an algebra problem. So we're going to have a lot of algebra going through here. And so whenever you're dealing with a difference quotient, you'll be given this f of x function. So I'll keep that in mind. But another good thing to find, because we will put that f of x right here in a moment, we need to find f of x plus h. And actually, let me color code this. Let's just use a different color so that we can kind of keep track of these, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm over here, I'm off to the side, I'm gonna find f of x plus h first, just so I have it. So we knew f of x was three x squared plus x minus one. So f of x plus h would be three times x plus h squared plus x plus h minus one. All right, and let me let me point out what I'm, I'm doing here. And I, again, I wanna color code everything. So in this original function, we had the x in the parentheses here, we dropped it here and here. So here I have x plus h, which is why down here, now you see me writing instead of x, I write x plus h. And instead of x, I write x plus h. So I'm substituting in x plus h wherever I see x when you wanna find this, this f of x plus h that term. Okay, so now let me undo some of my shadings here so I can recolor code things, okay? So we were using, I think, the green one for f of x plus h, right? And we were using the purple to represent f of x. So let me code that up. All right, so now I'm gonna substitute some stuff. So here's what I mean. So instead of, actually, let me color code this too. So let me get the pen up and, and running with this. So we're going to look at f of x plus h, all right, and then give me a moment to color code all of this, minus, and then I think we were doing light purple, f of x, right? And then let me get this over h, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm about to move, and let me pen color this, I'm gonna move this here, right? I'm gonna substitute that in, and then I'm gonna take my expression for f of x and put it here. All right, so I'm gonna substitute my particular function and for f of x and f of x plus h into that difference quotient. So here we go. Oops, let me get my original pen color. All right, so here, here begins just a lot of algebra. Okay, so we're gonna have on my numerator, actually I'll just write the denominator, that's always the easier part. So f of x plus h is three x plus h squared plus an x plus h minus one. And then I need to subtract out, and I'm gonna put in parentheses so I don't mess the subtraction up. Three x squared plus x minus one. All right, and let me just, again, I'm gonna color code these. So right here was f of x, right? And here was f of x plus h. So again, substituting in for our particular function. And now let's start expanding and figuring out the algebra. If you do, this algebra correctly, and let me switch pen colors, this original function, f of x should always cancel out. So let, let's see if we made that happen. So here we go, I have three times, if I expand x plus h squared, that's gonna be x squared plus two xh plus h squared, all right, plus x plus h minus one, I'm gonna distribute the negative, that would be three x squared minus x plus one, all over h, all right, let me see if I can fit this in here. I'm gonna to have to kind of scrunch what I'm doing. This is gonna be three x squared plus six xh plus three h squared. Oops, let me get that two. That two doesn't look that good. Okay, squared. All right, and what did we have? Plus x plus h minus one minus three x squared minus x plus one over h, right? Lots of algebra. So now let's see if we got that original function to go ahead and cancel out. Let me get a different color and let's start canceling. Okay, so I have this plus one here that cancels with the minus one. I had this minus x in my original function that cancels with that plus x. And I had a minus three x squared from my original function that did cancel with the three x squared there. Now, let me pick a different highlighter color. All right, so if I look, I have six eight xh left, I have a three h squared, and I have an h. Those are the only things that survive, so let me clean that up. So if we look, we have six xh plus three h squared. 
um, what did I say, plus h all over h. Now that numerator has a greatest common factor of h. Let me factor that out so we would have 6x plus 3h plus 1 all over h. That will cancel, and that leaves me with 6x plus 3h plus 1. So that's the most I can simplify it. Let's start looking at the answers and see if we can spot it. And actually, I see it right there. There is my solution. So I found that difference quotient. And for what it's worth, when you get into calculus, I promise you will find a faster way of doing this. But my guess would be your instructor would make you do it the long way. It's kind of like a rite of passage. And there's always a lot of algebra involved. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.